Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how we can generate an audio recording of some block of text. In the example we're going to do, we're going to take a quote from George Washington, and we're going to record the sound using the built-in tools on the iPad, and then we'll ultimately bring that sound over into GarageBand and add some music and some sound design just to bring it to life. Now, to get started, the first thing you need is the text of the quote that you're going to record. I, like I said, have a George Washington quote right here, and I've just pasted it right into a Pages document. But the truth is you could have it anywhere uh, as long as you have it pasted in some text editor. Now the next thing we're going to do is choose the voice we want to use. Now I could have gone out to any number of new AI websites to generate audio from text, but the truth is most of those require subscriptions and a lot of them are paid. And so why not use the built-in tools already on your device? If you're not aware, one of the accessibility features on the iPad is the ability to speak any text anywhere system-wide. And that just needs to be turned on over in our settings. So let's go and do that now. In settings, you're going to scroll down on the left to accessibility. And then under the vision section, we're going to choose spoken content. You want to make sure that speak selection is turned on. And then one of the nice things is you can go into voices, and there are literally dozens and dozens of different voices that are available for this spoken content. So I went into English, and I listened to a lot of the options and chose one that I thought was appropriate for George Washington. I ended up picking Nathan Enhanced, and I will give you a taste of what it sounds like here. Hello, my name is Nathan. I am... So you'll pick a voice that works for you. Um, and just to point out while we're here, you can also change the speaking rate, and you might want to slow it down a little bit so it sounds a little more natural. So I'm going to do that right now. Speak selection, read selected content. Okay, so now I have it the way I want. I'm going to come back into pages. Now, the next thing we're going to do is simply highlight our text and we should be able to choose the option speak, and that text will be read aloud to us. And we want to record that. But here's the next problem. There's no default way to record system audio on an iPad. You could use a voice memos app or even GarageBand to record through the system microphone. But when you do that, you're going to pick up background noise as well, and that can be distracting. So there's a little workaround here, which is you can actually just do a screen recording, because a screen recording will capture not only the video of the screen, but also any system sound. In order to turn on your screen recording, you just swipe down in your control panel and you tap on the circle icon. Now you'll notice mine is red because I'm recording my screen right now, so I'm not going to be able to do this live. Um, but you would just need to start screen recording and then tap on speak to hear your audio. Now just as a side note, if you're not seeing the dot in your control center, you can add it to the control center again over in settings tap on Control Center, and just make sure that the screen recording control is included. So back over to my text here. Um, again, I just select it all, and I tap on Speak, and I do this after I have started recording my screen. And I will know that because of the red icon at the top right. And when I'm done, I can tap on that red icon to complete my recording. So let me go ahead and do that here now. Okay, so now that I've completed my recording, it has been saved over in my Photos app. So let's go over there and take a look. Okay, here we go. So this second video file here is the video file of my screen recording that has the audio I want attached. Uh, and to give you a sense, I'll just turn the volume off for a minute so you can hear it. The science of government in a republic. What? Okay, so it sounds good. Let me just pause it. Now, here's the problem. As you can see, it's not just the audio, it's actually a video file. And I don't want that because we're doing an audio project here. And so I want to save just the audio from this. Now again, there's no real great way built into the iPad to do this. But as with so many things, there is an iPad shortcut that will allow you to strip the audio off of a video. Now you can download that. I will put the link to it uh, in the description down below. Once you've installed that shortcut, 
All you have to do is tap on the share button for this video, scroll down, and you choose this IDB video to audio, and it's actually going to strip it off and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm going to save it in this folder right here. And now if I go look in that folder in my files app, I will see that I have this R play replay final file, and that is actually the audio stripped off of that screen recording that I just made. You'll notice I also have a music file here, and that's something else that we're going to incorporate into our final piece, which we can begin right now. So I'm going to go over into GarageBand, and in GarageBand, we're going to do a little bit of editing and sound design to bring this quote, this, this audio recording to life. So I'm going to go ahead and tap plus to create a new project, and click on voice to create a new uh, track for me to add here. I'm going to tap on the tracks view and tap on the metronome to turn that off. So I want to bring my audio in, so I'm going to go to the files tab on my loops icon here, and I'm going to browse items, and I know it was in my audio folder, and this was it. And so we're going to wait for it to show up, and there it is. And now I'm just going to drag it into my top track. And this, if we did it correctly, should be the recording of the audio. So let's go ahead and play it back in here to make sure that it's the right thing. A primary object should be the education. Okay, good. So clearly it has a lot of echo on it, which I don't want. So I want to just change the settings for this track. So I'll tap on the little microphone icon and change it from lead vocals to something that is more kind of just spoken word. So I'm just going to choose narrator and tap done and head back to my track view. And let's keep playing it and make sure it sounds good. Of our youth in the science of government in a republic. What's Okay, so one of the ways to really enhance your podcast or your audio recording is by bringing in music. And one of my favorite sources for free music online is Blue Dot Sessions. And you'll see the link down below in the description. Um, there are tons of sources. Obviously, choose what you like as long as it's copyright free. And go ahead and grab it and let's bring it in. So I'm going to go into my loops and I'm in files. And I'm going to go find this particular file that I want to use. It was called music. So I'm going to wait till it shows up in my list, and then when it appears, I'm just going to grab it and drag it way to the beginning. And now we're going to move things over a little bit. So I want the music to play for a second before my speech begins. So I'm just going to experiment a little bit and drag the sound over a little bit. And let's play it back. A primary object should be the edge. OK, so I'm going to move this in a little bit. Okay, so let's hear how that sounds. A primary object should... All right, a little bit more. Okay, so now I've got it laid out the way I want. The next thing I want to do is, as soon as the speaking starts, I want my music to kind of fade down into the background a little bit. And so we're going to do that with a tool called Automation, which is super easy. You can just tap on the microphone icons and turn on Automation. And then we just unlock it in the top left, and you'll see these lines appear, and those lines represent the volume for the track. So right over here on my music track, I want to add two dots. And the second dot I'm going to drop way down because I want my volume to be much lower right when my sound begins, So maybe about there. So I'm just going to play that section back, and let's hear how it sounds. A primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. In a republic, what species of knowledge can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicate? Okay. Now, that sounds pretty good, but I can see I'm approaching the end of my audio here. So I want my music to kick back in, to kind of fade in again once the talking stops. So I'm again going to add two points, and this time I'm going to drag the top point up to my baseline right around where my speaking stops. Okay, so now the speaking will stop and the sound will fade back up. Let's hear what it sounds like. Cating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of the country. Okay, so you can let that music then play as much as you want. Um, I'm gonna turn off my automation by tapping on done. And I'm actually going to split that clip right about there because I don't want it to go on forever. So I just split it 
and I'm going to delete this second part. And then I actually want to just pop back into automation and have it fade out right about here. Uh, and we'll have it fade down to nothing. OK. All right. So let me zoom out and let's hear what our final piece sounds like. primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. In a republic, what species of knowledge can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of the country? Okay, so pretty good. And you see that in just a couple of minutes, I have a, a device generated audio track mixed with some music. The final step would be to share this out. And I can do that by going over to the document icon. And then I can long press on my file here and share it. And you'll see I can share the GarageBand project or I can export it to an MP3, whatever I like. And uh, that's the process. So hopefully you find that helpful. And thank you for watching.